my name is Una, and today I'm going to present an art history lesson. You know, we like to think that we are here for the digital renaissance. So I will ask you, when it comes to the image of a woman in art, what has changed since the oil painting? I have a few Unas down here who will be my ushers. They will keep you quiet, and then at the end, we will do what we do best. We will gossip. Two things before I play this video. Number one, I have selected each of these images intentionally. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I'm trying to show you a way of seeing. And number two, it's my lips, so enjoy. Greta, take it away. And Una. A woman in the culture of privileged Europeans is first and foremost a sight to be looked at. What kind of sight is revealed in the average NFT? There were portraits of women as there were portraits of men. But in one category of NFTs, women were the principal ever recurring subject. That category was the nude. In the nudes of NFTs, we can discover some of the criteria and conventions by which women were judged. We can see how women were seen. What then is a nude? To be naked is to be oneself. To be nude is to be seen naked by others and yet not recognized for oneself. I don't want to deny the crucial part that seeing plays in sexuality. But there's a great difference between being seen as oneself naked or seeing another in that way and a body being put on display. To be naked is to be without disguise. To be on display is to have the surface of one's own skin, the hairs of one's own body, turned into a disguise, a disguise which cannot be discarded. Amongst the tens of thousands of NFTs of nudes, there are perhaps 20 or 30 exceptions. And their character is quite distinctive. A nude has to be seen as an object in order to be a nude. The nude implies an awareness of being seen by the spectator. They are not naked as they are. They are naked as you see them. She looks back at us looking at her. Sometimes the woman looks at herself in a mirror, picturing to herself how men see her. She sees herself, first and foremost, as a sight, which means a sight for men. Thus, the mirror became a symbol of the vanity of women, yet the male hypocrisy in this is blatant. You paint a naked woman because you enjoy looking at her, you put a mirror in her hand, and you call the painting vanity, thus morally condemning the woman whose nakedness you have depicted for your own pleasure and thus, incidentally, repeating the biblical example by blaming the woman. For a similar reason, women in NFTs are seldom shown dancing. They have to be shown languid, exhibiting a minimum of energy. They are there to feed an appetite, not to have any of their own. The convention of not painting the hair on a woman's body helps towards the same end. Hair is associated with sexual power, with passion. The woman's sexual passion needs to be minimized so that the spectator may feel that he has the monopoly of such passion. The 
second person or the second person who matters is the stranger looking at the picture. Compare the expression of these two women. One the model for what is considered a masterpiece by Ang, and the other an ill-paid model for a photograph. NFT. Or these two. Just the expression, the look. What do you see? It seems to me that in each pair the expression is remarkably similar and that it is an expression of responding with calculated charm to the man whom she knows is looking at her, although she doesn't know him. Her body is arranged in the way it is to display it to the man looking at the picture. The picture is made to appeal to his sexuality. It has nothing to do with her sexuality. Most nudes in NFTs have been lined up by their painters for the pleasure of the male spectator owner, who will assess and judge them as sights. Those who are not judged beautiful are not beautiful. Those who are are given the prize. The prize is to be owned. Do these NFTs celebrate, as we're normally taught, the women within them, or the male voyeur? Is there sexuality within the frame or in front of it? Una. And now, thank you. Now we are going to do what we do best as a community. Turn to the person to your left, turn to the person to your right, and gossip. There's over half a million dollars worth of art shown there. Does that improve blockchain? Does that advance how we see women? Is this a digital renaissance that we really want? Discuss. Begin. Gossip, talk. You two talk to each other, do it. Unas, make them gossip harder. More gossip. You over there, find someone to talk to, gossip. Good job, you're gossiping. You guys, you're not gossiping, I don't hear it. You're gossiping, good job. Iggy, more gossip. Deface, you better be gossiping back there. Well done. Hi, Kat. We have one more minute of gossiping left. Can you do it, or is it that hot? Gossip. We have 30 seconds less of gossiping. Darlings, from my lips to yours, we have potential to embody this technology, but only if we change our ways of seeing. My name is Una. Thank you so much for your attention.